All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new zombies video. Today we are going to be doing a custom zombies video. Now, I know in my other video I said that I would be doing a pack a punch challenge, but a pack a punch challenge is a lot harder than I thought it was. So, okay, so as y'all can see, my sensitivity is too low. Um, I am playing on PC, but I am also using my controller right now the noise isn't too in 128 guns yo that's that's a lot okay um this, this might be a long video then anyways we're here with a call of duty a gun game mod this is i believe black ops 2 weapons so i guess we're just gonna start this off uh the cycle that i put it to is normal and pack-a-punched so we'll be getting, like, as y'all see right now, we have the normal dual-wheeled 5.7s, but, like, I don't know what the next gun's gonna be, but it could be a pack-a-punch regular 5.7. It just depends on what it is. Anyways, I've recorded a few customs videos before this, but I'm still figuring out everything with recording on PC, so the audio was really weird. It was kind of echoey, so I went ahead and scrapped those videos, and, I mean, they were on World at War, which was fine. Nothing wrong with World at War customs. I did enjoy them, but... I just figured we'll go ahead and uh, start with some Black Ops 3 customs. Maybe it works like I get a gun, get enough points with it, and then I get the Pack-a-Punch version. I don't have any custom maps yet, but I'll definitely be sure to make videos on custom maps if y'all want them. And I'll probably just download some for fun. Oh my gosh, look at that. The browning. This is from the campaign. They have campaign guns too? This is a really cool mod. This is called the Super OP. Is it auto? Oh my. Um. It. it mm, all right. Bro, this would be fun. Camping on catwalk with the brownie. I'm definitely gonna. I'm, I might. I might make more videos on this mod alone. This is just. This is fun. I'm sorry. This is fun. I wonder. There's only six perks on this map. I wonder if the perk drops give us extra perks. I'm not sure. I didn't read anything about that and to be honest all these guns are doing really good right now i know i have double tap too but like the b23 is one shotting um he obviously has upped the damage on some of the guns because you know the mauser and the colt would not one shot but still like it's actually pretty insane a hey, fun fact 115 guns left adam perforator and karmic destructor that's not the cap 40 when it's pack a punched at least i don't think is the cap 40 yeah, the Cat 40 was in Zombies, but whenever you pack punch it, I don't remember what it was called. Ooh, Deadshot. Alright, so I wonder if when I get another perk drop, I wonder if it'll be Mule Kick. Alright, we now have the Blunder Guy. This is our first Wonder Weapon of the video. The Spaz. What in the world? Okay, was the Spaz even in Black Ops 2? If, it must have been a campaign gun if it was. Maybe I'm just forgetting something. Anyway, this is definitely the MW2 model. And you don't actually have to pump it. You just can spray it. Tote. <laughs> Great name. Beautiful name. 10 out of 10. Um, I didn't really want that. That's alright. We're actually now, we are under 100 guns left. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, I remember this. This was the, um... This was like the sniper from the campaign that you could wobbing with. Like if you held down the trigger, you could have like a bigger bullet. This mod basically gives you gun game, right? Gives you all the BO2 weapons and then removes what's bad about them. Like this was great, but you had to, you used to only have eight and you had to aim down. Now you can just, I love how they added a grenade launcher to this. Um, so we are going through this really quickly now, honestly like at first when we first started and it was how 100 and however many guns i honestly didn't know if i was gonna be able to like actually do this but now that we're getting into the higher rounds we're flying through it and most of the guns are really powerful too the worst weapon in zombies and i get it it's the kill thank you thank you this obviously isn't actually the worst but it's 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 bad okay SMR is bad. If y'all have never played Black Ops 2, whenever you decide to play Black Ops 2, just don't don't get the SMR. Oh gosh. Let's go. The scope physics are a little weird in this mod, but like honestly, it, it's that's just how BO3 scopes are, so it's alright. Oh my gosh, look at the bullet streams. There's like five different bullets. Oh no. 
I don't know. M16, not it. M16 is not it. There we go. There's no recoil. There's... Look. There's literally none. Almost up to round 30. Got the AK right now. Now we got Reznov's Revenge. Perfect name, by the way. Like, honestly, there's so many things I like about Mob of the Dead, but, like, them adding the AK-47, really cool. Them naming it Reznov's Revenge, even cooler. Okay. All right. This is not very cash money. My gosh, that has a spread of a shotgun. Look. <sighs> this is crazy. Ballista is a multiplayer and campaign. I had honestly kind of forgotten about it. It's a really good weapon for uh, snipers. And um, I haven't sniped in BO2 in like a long time, so I kind of forgot about it. If y'all didn't know, back when BO2 first came out, the MTAR was an absolute beast, along with the RPD, the hammer, and the Type 25. And then they, for some reason, as I get demoted, they for some reason decided to nerf those guns, and the recoil was horrendous on them. We've actually gotten demoted a lot, and I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean... I can help it, but I kind of can't, because that's just how I am. I'm that bad at this game. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, that was quick. Anyways, now we have the Dragon. This is the BO1 Dragonov. Uh, I don't remember if the Dragonov in the campaign is any different, but... And it's the same for her version! Oh, I got promoted. Oh, nice. Okay. Anyways, it was the same version from Black Ops 1, Pack Punch, and everything. Now we have the M8, and uh, where's the last zombie? Skirt Skirt. I don't think Skirt Skirt is the name of the actual Pack Punch version. Did we ever figure out why the Mob of the Dead plane's up there, by the way? Like, storyline-wise, did we ever learn that? I don't, I don't think so. Hey, guys, look at the recoil. Absolutely horrible recoil, man. It's so bad, as the reticle doesn't move. <laughs> I'm really glad this the damn oh I'm I'm gonna die. Unless I get really lucky, which I'm not going to. <sighs> Catwalk isn't really working out either. Catwalk isn't working anymore. Uh so we are gonna have to train. Wait, right, let's see. Deadwire, blast furnace, fireworks. That's also really good. I wonder if it actually uses the M14 model in the fireworks, uh like weapon that you get for killing a zombie like whenever you kill a zombie with fireworks the alternate ammo type makes another weapon that you're holding pop out and just shoot everywhere i wonder if it uses the same model as the gun i'm holding even though it's a mod oh it does what that's so cool i couldn't tell if that was the bo3 m14 or not but that still that's really cool that it's not just like the i don't know the hvk or something Look at the little reticle, look at how fast I can shoot, and watch how fast I reload. My gosh. Interesting, we now have the BO-1 FAL, which, I mean, that does make, that is a BO-2 gun, so I guess that that does make sense. Okay, so the regular SCAR-H is just the SCAR-H. This version is the SCAR featuring H. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's the pre-patch DSR-2, let's go. And I got demoted. Of course, I effing did. It's okay when I'm up here and I have pack a punch guns, but like the regular guns are no. This is amazing. This is honestly amazing. All right, that's the last zombie. So we're now on around 35, and we are. I mean, we're getting closer, but we're we're going down a lot. So we're gonna try to not do that. It's really cool how, even though some of the guns in BO3 are also in BO2 and whatnot that they use the BO2 models in this game, in, in this mod, it's really cool. Oh gosh, this is another campaign gun. I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but I seriously don't know how I'm gonna use this because whenever I shoot it, I go super slow. The pug, what does that mean? Quarter pounder with cheese? Sir, I don't think that's the right name for the MG08. Oh, I just realized we're only 16 guns. We're getting really close. Oh, the LSAT, oh, what a classic gun. All right, we only have uh, nine guns left, so we're still in the LMG section. This should this should be the last LMG. Oh, okay, so now we're at the Wonder Weapons. Okay, so it will be the Wonderwaff and the Pack Punch Wonderwaff, 
And I don't know what the other one will be. This looks like the BO3 model of the WAF, but it also doesn't. But there's no Wonder Waff in BO2, is there? Wonder why we got the Wonder Waff. This is actually this is actually the first gun that we've got that isn't in BO2 in any way, shape, or form. Maybe you can get it through console commands or something, but like as an actual weapon, it's not there. Oh, the ray gun. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, we are going to do it in under 40 rounds, but we're pretty freaking close to it. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious. Before I end this, the ray gun doesn't usually get an alternate ammo to... Okay, no, so it doesn't get one either. All right. Well, we did it. 2,000 kills, and we were just below round 40, so that was really fun. That was the BO2 gun game mod. Anyways, I do hope that y'all did enjoy this video. If y'all did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And, uh, again, make sure to be subscribed because there will be a lot of new zombies content now that I have a decent PC. Also, really quickly before the video ends, let me know in the comments what kind of videos y'all want to see. And if it's custom zombies, what kind of custom zombies videos y'all want to see. Anyways, now, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.